Hi guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and today we have a very special episode. We are introducing the LEGO Ocean Exploration Ship. We are also going to introduce it to our LEGO cargo train to see how they interact. I bet they'll be best of friends. I lost count. I'm just a squirrel, okay? <laughs> On the table, Lego City, set number 60266, Ocean Exploration Ship, 745 pieces, supporting National Geographic Explorers. Harl Hubs is here. The ship really floats. On the back of the box, the contents of this great vessel. So much in play. Inside the box, oh, hi there, Team Whale Squirrel. Instruction booklet one, I see a helicopter and a dinghy. Instruction booklet number two, I see a sunken ship and a great white. And the mighty huge instruction booklet three, there is your exploration ship. Speaking of ship, here's the hole. And the other half. That's a weird looking ship. Bag one of pieces. Bag two. Three. There's no screen doors on battleships. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One extra base plate. And a small sheet of stickers. We have much to explore. Let's get this ship of ocean constructed. And constructed the main crew of our exploration vessel. This over here must be the captain. He looks kind of uh, weathered with the gray beard, has some seniority. Then we have a very cute spotted manta ray, stingray something, and a small helicopter craft for video making. Is this Harl here? Harl Hubs? Must be. And we have a small dinghy for two. I could not believe I have not seen this piece in so long, this little rubbery pipe piece. So fun. Used to see this all the time on the older space sets. And we continue on. and constructed our sunken ship treasure. Just a little bit of a remnant of a boat, the rest has been lost to sea. Several really cool divers with this set. This fellow here, this lady here, and this shark cage photographer. Getting in closer with her face, she's a little worried. I wonder why she is so worried. Oh, that's why, there's a Lego Great White hanging around the ship. Where'd he go? Oh no! Another diver taken by the sea. So many nice elements to this set. Now let's get to the main build of the Ocean Explorer.
constructed the great bow of the ocean explorer. I have never built a large scale Lego boat before. My family and I were all gathered around the box trying to figure out how is this thing going to float? How is a boat so long fit in a box so small? And then for good measure, Anna decided to give Coppa Cat a lesson. And sure enough, it looks like the boat is built into two main sections, two floatable main sections. Very ingenious build. We could probably ram an iceberg. And since it's compartmentalized, only half of the boat will sink. You can actually remove the main deck plating, which I imagine is there to keep it clean if you're going into water. You wouldn't want mildew in your lower decks. It's also a great location to store extra bricks, extra sharks, extra treasure maps, and maybe even a few jellyfish. So real cool ingenious design I did not see happening. Now let's move on to the stern. So we have connected the bow to the stern of the boat. We have quite the open cargo hold right now. I wonder how many squirrels we can fit inside. There's one. There's another. Big Gray will take up most of the space. Berry, he's small. Strawberry. I'm Blueberry. And Strawberry. At least I got one of them right, right? Skunk Squirrel. Skunk Squirrel hasn't been around in a while. And the mysterious wise under the stairs wombat also. Place him there. So we can fit quite the many squirrels inside. Let's keep constructing. Zombie contractor? That's why I don't use toothpaste. Wow, there's a lot of squirrels down there. constructed the mighty ocean exploration ship. What a fascinating and thrilling construction this set was for being my first large scale Lego boat. So my biggest question was how this hole was going to work out, especially with the hole inside the hole. For some reason I was expecting the central core of the ship to be closed off from the sea, but it is in fact open. Whoa, there are a lot of squirrels down there, and I think that zombie might need medical help. Whatever it was designed for, it's really fun. 
This central crane piece is really cool. You can move it back and forth, rotating it around, and dunking your poor photographer into the shark infested waters. I would have liked to have an extending boom on this though. It's a little bit tight. It's going to be hitting the side of the boat. Then of course we have the helicopter we built up front and an opening cargo bay on the bow of the boat with a small mini sub. Let's see if we can hook onto that. Splash! To hook onto the mini sub, you've got to open the glass canopy, which is a little weird, but here we go. And there is our mini sub. We can now deliver it either over the side of the boat or into the squirrel feeding pen. No, not the squirrel feeding pen! And of course you've got extra storage down here in the hole and over on the back end of the ship we have all sorts of fun. We've got an extra little crane piece back here. The bridge of the boat is right here. To get inside we can open up these panels. To get inside to the living quarters just remove this section of the boat. We have two beds to work with and several fish tanks are involved with this set. Remove this piece to get down to the lower section of the boat. And we have a fantastic science center going on down inside with computers, coffee makers, more fish tanks, a table and chairs for meetings. Really fun with this one. And placing everything back. Hmm, I wonder, can we place this in? Yep, can't do that. So we'll drop on this first. And then the bridge. Another look at the minifigures included. I can only assume this is a great white shark. It's quite huge and could probably fit a couple minifigures pieces inside. Close that mouth to keep them in. Very large shark. I have played with the smaller sized shark for many a years. And you can also open up this cage of course. There's the photographer inside. I like that we have two kinds of diving suits with this set. One in orange and blue and two in red and blue. I don't think you're supposed to stand on a stingray like that. There is so much adventure play with this ship. Plenty of minifigures for science adventure. And this crane is total amazing. Well now we gotta see if this thing really floats. So let's find somewhere to float our boat. What is going on in there? And welcome to the Squirrel Stampede Aquatic Center. This is where the squirrels go to relax after a long summer's day. I believe this vat covers about 80 million cubic meters of water. It should go large enough for the ocean exploration ship. Oops! How did that dog shampoo get in there? And here we go, dropping the ocean exploration ship into the water. Will it float? It floats! It more than floats. It like glides on the water. Very impressive. I was curious how the balance would work. Obviously one side a little more weighted than the other, but it is holding well and it just loves to play on water. How cool. And look at the central area of the boat. The center there where you can see the water inside. That's a perfect play space. <laughs> Shall we throw in a shark? See if it floats? Oh my goodness, the shark also floats! Right now the shark is full on air. Let's open its mouth, fill it up, see if it still floats. And look at that, it still floats! It swims a little off to the side, but it floats. And it interacts with the boat really well, that's impressive. The ocean exploration ship can really do some research on the Great White now. Shall we throw in a manta ray too? The manta ray also floats! I thought both of these would sink. Now we should get our camera operator into the shark cage and lower her in. Looks pretty spooky, but I think she can do it. It's still a little tricky operating this crane. It really needed an extra boom. And she kind of floats too. Oh, look at that, now she is sinking, sinking down to the bottom. I think she's lost the guide wire too. Oh, oh wait, what's that? Oh, oh no, it's the Mosasaurus! How did this get into the back? Look out, look, oh, 
Oh, I think the Mosasaurus got her. Oh dear, hopefully that cage will hold her and maybe the Mosasaurus will get bored and let her go at some point. Oh, that's not the way I'd want to go. Anyhow, back to the ocean exploration vehicle. This thing floats really well, really impressed. I'm amazed how this boat just glides across the clear waters. And that squirrel today, really doing some great stunts on those water skis. Good job, squirrel. You might want to come up for air every once in a while. Oh, look at there. The ocean exploration ship has discovered a Treasure X sunken treasure site. I wouldn't send divers down there. There's a pretty big octopus. So that is the exploration ship on water. Of course you can play on land too and pretend you're on water if you don't want to get your Lego pieces wet. But the whole of this ship is keeping pretty much everything on top dry as long as you don't splash it too much. All right, back to the dry surface of the table. I wanted to return one more time to the actual treasure ship find of this set. Kind of a fun extra piece for your divers to move about with. Indeed, there is a treasure to be found underneath the steering wheel here. Open, lift up, we found a slab of gold bars. So there is both treasure to be found and marine biology to be studied. Wait, how is that guy underwater? Going to have to check on that guy's credentials one more time. Oh, and look at that, the sunken treasure piece also fits in the main cargo hold for research and pillaging. Very versatile this set is. There are a few more ocean exploration sets to look for. Obviously the ocean exploration ship is the crown jewel, but I think the ocean exploration base would be lots of fun to work with. Ooh, there's a hammerhead shark in there. And also some of these other submarines, really interesting. It will be curious if the squirrels decide to return to the ocean this year or not. We will see. What I would really like to build next from LEGO City is the passenger plane. I have never built a large scale passenger plane either, so it should be a fun one to look for. And that is the LEGO City Ocean Exploration Ship. What a build, what an adventure. There is so much going on with this build. It's a little high in price. It runs approximately $150 for this set, which seems a little high for a piece count set of only 750 pieces. But you have to remember there are two very large hole sections that actually float in water. And I believe the great white shark and maybe the dinghy pieces add to the value of this set. I know those pieces usually bump up the price quite a bit, but with everything you get, it's actually, I think, an okay value. There is so much play with this. There are so many elements. I mean, there's a boat, a helicopter, a shark, a shark cage, all these little rooms inside the ship. So it really provides you with a lot of fun value play. If you like today's video, please give us a squeak, a squirrel eye, and a squamant, and we can talk all about these great ocean sets, maybe what future ocean sets I should build, that sort of thing. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.